Uh, loads of you still talking about this um, yarn bombing. Worcester City Council being, well, let's be honest, a little bit unseasonal and scroogey, I think. My, just my opinion. Yeah, they, Shared by many of you, though. They removed some knitted scarves and hats that were hung up on railings outside at the Guildhall in Worcester for rough sleepers to help keep them warm at this Christmas, but the council said, no, you've got to take these off here. Um, Aid says, Dear councillors, the fall from grace is only a couple of steps for most people. I hope you never need help, but luckily for you, caring people will still help, regardless of your actions. Walking past them earlier put a spring in my step, knowing some people cared. It's not just the homeless they're helping. And Serena said, how silly. I don't get why the council want them removed. They're not doing any harm or causing any damage and may help someone less fortunate keep warm. And it also highlights the very real problem of homelessness within the city. While Maxine says, I walked past them in the morning and thought how lovely it looked. It's such a lovely idea. Yeah, it did look lovely. It was a nice thing. Anyway, more on this after I keep your thoughts coming in. We're going to have a quick word with Luke as well. Luke Connard from Fit Fashion Store in Hereford. Morning to you, Luke. Morning. Hi, I was just listening to your story about Worcester Council. Yeah. Yes. And taking the scarf. I down. know. I mean, for goodness sake. How unseasonal. I know. I mean, people, have, the generosity of their heart, they've obviously gone out and, and bought a scarf and put it there for someone less fortunate They didn't themselves. just buy them, they made, made them. them. Oh, they made yeah. them. Oh, good Lord. So, actually, there's been a huge amount of time put into this yep. as well. Yep. Uh, you know that. Yeah, I know that. Tony knows that. 100,000 yeah. people in Worcester on our Facebook page know that. I the council Hell. do, though. Tell the people in Worcester, if they'd like to tweet me, at Luke Connod, L-U-K-E-C-O-N-O-D, and they've got some scarves, I can, through our Rotary Club, make sure they get to people, but, well, both in Worcester, actually, and in Hereford that need them. Brilliant. So Good if they stuff. tweet me at L-U-K-E-C-O-N-O-D... I'll get back to them and we'll sort out some distribution via the Rotary Club. Very good. Um, very quickly, Luke, what are you offering in the way of late night shopping? Uh, so we had our late night shopping last Wednesday, uh, this Wednesday and last Wednesday actually, and it was a great buzz around the town. It was a wonderful, you know, it's quite a cool evening actually. People were wrapped up warm and uh, there was a fantastic buzz. But we've got something really exciting for next week. Um, I was speaking to your colleague yesterday. Uh, I was over in Riga in Latvia yeah. earlier on this year and met a cooperative that uh, make things out of second-hand denim. So they buy the old jeans from charities, then they make things out of them, like little snails. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and fantastic A hip, denim the, snail. Yeah, the hippos are best. I sent some pictures to your colleagues yesterday, so maybe you'll be able to yeah. post them on your we'll, um, Facebook. We'll, we'll try Twitter and do things. that. Luke, listen, really lovely to speak to you. We have to move on to the news, but thank you ever so much for that. So, yeah, late-night shopping. Go and spend your money until the, uh, well, until sort of 10 o'clock in some places. <laughs>